up everybody welcome to my 15th JavaScript tutorial and in the last tutorial as you can see we talked about a while loop so let's get rid of that and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about something called a break now I'm going to be using this in our for loop so let's go ahead and create a basic for loop and if you remember from a couple tutorials ago the syntax for a for loop you just put for then you make a variable I'm gonna make mine i is always and set it equal to zero as usual and then our next I'm gonna make it i and say do this loop whenever the integer is less than or equal to 10 and then in our last you say what you want to increment it by and I'm gonna increment it by one every time so now that we have that we need an action so every time we want every time our integer fits these rules I'm gonna say document write which just means output on the screen same thing as before if you watched my last tutorial I'm gonna say the number is move this so you can see and then I'm just gonna add make sure you put a space right here it'll make it easier to read just gonna add the number and then on my next line I'm gonna have the same thing document right and in this one I'm just gonna add a line break and to do that you probably know by now but you just add the HTML code or XHTML code for the line break make sure you put semicolons at the end of each one so now we have a basic for statement but you're saying alright so what exactly are you going to teach me see as you can see if we just save this and refreshed it we get the number 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 just like before but now we want to do something a little different and that's add a line break or not a line break just a uh, JavaScript break. And what a JavaScript break does is allow you to execute this code, but it allows you to skip one or more numbers. And what we're going to do is in this rule, we're going to embed another loop or another rule, and that's called a break. So, simple enough, we're just going to add another if statement. Actually, let me add some lines so you can see how this is separate, but still inside these parentheses add a simple if statement and this is a lot easier than you guys would probably think say if the integer is exactly equal to 5 then what we are going to want to do is just say the word break so as you can see this is all a normal for loop but inside we have a simple if statement it's as easy as that so we're gonna tell JavaScript to do this. Go ahead and run this loop, go through the number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But once you get to five, if the integer is exactly equal to five, we want you to break the code and forget about the rest of this. So let me just show you what this looks like. I'm gonna save it and refresh it. So what this does, as you can see, it went through zero, one, two, three four but once it got to five it stopped and the rest of the code didn't go on anymore and this is pretty useful whenever let's say you want to make a list but you only want to have a certain amount of items in it say show the top ten list so we want to gonna rank everyone but once it gets to ten stop and don't show anymore so that's one use you can use a simple break statement in JavaScript and that's all the time we have for right now um, I don't know what we're going to be learning next probably something else that we can put in our loops and please if you like my tutorials go to my website autolandchat.com and sign up and uh, if you do I might even give you a, a shout out on one of my next tutorials thanks <laughs>